I would like to... At ITPD, we learn to facilitate design processes with multiple stakeholders. It's really about going out into the world and trying to understand human behavior and the interactions between humans and products or services. We use uh, design methods and uh, facilitation tools in order to co-create with multi-stakeholder um, prototypes and final prototypes of the process. So in ITBD we learn to be confident about our own ideas and I think it's especially important later in the industry because there's so much competition that as a designer you need to be very confident about your own ideas and proposals. My favorite project in ITPD uh, was the interactive lamp. So I come from a communication background and was the first time I had to interact with uh, electronics and solder and so on. And it uh, was challenging, but a lot of people from different backgrounds could help me. And um, uh, at the end, I ended up with a final prototype, working prototype, which I'm very, very proud of. So the thing about ITPD is that you really have to come with an open mind. Um, they apply a very explorative and progressive design process here that's very different from anything I've seen before. I think to start the master of ITPD you need to be a curious person. You don't really need any specific skills because the master is basically shaped based on students and not the other way around. I think it's amazing. <laughs> The study environment at ITBD is great. You work side by side with the researchers and often I don't feel like a student rather than a colleague. Um, we have a great maker space where we can use 3D printers and laser cutters to, to work on product prototypes. We have a design lab where we can bring in people from the outside and, and facilitate workshops. And, and having access to all these facilities, that's quite special and, and that's quite different because you don't get that everywhere. What's quite unique about this course is the multidisciplinary approach. So here you find people with diversified backgrounds such as culture, graphic design, web development, furniture design or even business. I think working with uh, a, a lot of people from different backgrounds really adds uh, a value into the, the into designing and uh, into the final concept because everyone brings its own uh, uh, values on the table and uh, it's a continued negotiation on what to bring in and what to leave out and I think this really enriches the process. It's it's not simply an environment of traditional designers, it's, it's really people who are design enthusiasts coming together to learn and apply design methods. And I really enjoy that environment.